Welcome back to the series of short tutorials explaining how to do reproductive analysis in Excel following the instructions in the standard operating procedure linked in the description below. We're going to plot the length and fecundity data and show the trend line. Uh, to do this plot, we need to create some additional data. Uh, what we're going to do is insert a column to the left of fecundity. So I'm going to click on the fecundity column, right click, and then uh, hit insert. We're going to name this length. And basically what we want to do is back transform this uh, log logarithmic length data. To do that, we enter equals 10 raised to the power and then click on the log length cell. Hit enter and we return our value. Click on that and drag down and then hit control D to copy that. Uh, those, that formula all the way down through the column. Next, we want to select the data that are going to be plotted. And this is important. You can only select data. In the past, uh, for some plots, we've been able to click on the column. Um, if we do that in this case, we won't be able to get the trend line that we're looking for because uh, Excel doesn't like these zero and, um, and uh, botched calculation values. So click on length, drag down, then Hit the control button while holding that down, click on fecundity and drag down so that we only have our column titles and uh, matched data points. Go to insert, click on the button next to uh, the scatter plots and charts and click scatter. Okay, now we can drag this someplace where it's convenient for us. Just left click on the, on the chart, anywhere on the chart and I'll drag it down here. We like to add our axes. So the horizontal and the vertical and our x-axis is length in centimeters and our y-axis is batch fecundity and the values are number of eggs. Next thing we'd like to do is change our X axis. So we'll go up here to format, choose horizontal value, come over here to the right, click on axis options, axis options again, and it looks like anything above 20 centimeters is going to work for us. So we'll enter 20 here. Okay. The next thing we want to do is add a trend line. So we'll click on this plus icon up to the upper right. Go down to trend line, uh, hover over the button and go to more options. Uh, go back here to the right on the menu, uh, click the uh, chart icon and click on the power button. And now you've added this trend line or something approximating, uh, this trend line is something approximating uh, this formula of A times length to the power 8.35. Come back next time and we'll look at spawning periodicity.